The presidential spokesperson, Alfredo Hengari, was in our studio to discuss a number of national issues and to prevent the state's house stance on these issues. Our conversation continued with the issue of the Chinese. We do not want to sign our lives and our land away to the Chinese. These deals the are happening The people's voices are heard, and that's why the president was elected in the manner in which he was elected. So he represents their voice. The president is the ultimate expression of the sovereignty of the Namibian people. The media and all the other actors are important stakeholders. But they should not forget that the president is the ultimate expression of the sovereignty of the Namibian people. He was given a mandate to run Namibia, to govern Namibia for five years. And that mandate is coming at an end, to an end next year. The Namibian people will decide who they want to elect. So we should respect that. And all the decisions that the president will take within that period of five years, they will be taken, taking in consideration the, the supreme interest of the Namibian people. Governance, you say, is high up there on the agenda. We have ministers who've been accused of corruption being shuffled around in ministries. We've had chaos. Really. It is easy to say that, you know. I mean, it's easy to say that now we have ministers accused of corruption, but, you know, the president believes in fairness. And as I'd mentioned, rule of law. You cannot just fire people willy-nilly because there has been some allegation in some newspaper and so on. But a process of investigation will take place. A due process will be followed. And that's where the president is. He will not act on the basis of uh, some wild allegation in newspaper. Due processes. We have institutions. We have the Anti-Corruption Commission oh, that is please. tasked <laughs> to investigate whatever is, uh, is, uh, is, is, uh, is uh, whatever allegation is. Uttered. Let's just be serious. The Anti-Corruption Commission, what would you say is their greatest milestone? What do you think they've really achieved for this? Well, I think it's people? for the, uh, the Director General of the ACC to, 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 to In express. your opinion, please, from But the I think uh, we should not forget that uh, there are cases in, in our courts as a result of uh, investigations by the ACC, including high-profile ones. So we should not lose sight of uh, the fact that Namibia is, remains still one of the best governed countries on this continent. All the indicators tell us that. So I think uh, at times we should become less dramatic about some of the things that we, that we see on social media and read out there in the, in the, in the media. How can we, if you look at our health systems, if you look at the quality of oh, yeah, the very, very dire quality of education in this country. How can you say that? Like, Well, I think uh, it, it, it's important to say that uh, there are challenges in this country, and the president is aware about those challenges, and he's doing his best to address all those challenges, education, health, significant resources. We should not forget that Namibia is one of the countries that spends a significant percentage of its budget on education. Just the other day, Oxfam International, a highly authoritative organization when it comes to poverty and so on, rated Namibia number two in sub-Saharan Africa when it comes to commitment to reducing inequality. And the main issue that they raised there was Namibia's spending on education. So we are spending sufficient resources on education. Of course, the question of, uh, of quality is what the one that we should address. And the uh, government is not sitting on its rollers. It's trying to address some of those issues, and they will be addressed, I can promise you.